The Earth is made up of many different oceans, seas, lakes, and rivers, which are home to many sea creatures and various forms of aquatic life. But many of these creatures are endangered. As humans, we are only making the problem worse. Take, for instance, the southern resident killer whales and other marine mammals who use echolocation to locate objects, prey, communicate with other mammals, and even in the process of migrating throughout different territories on the coast of Canada. Echolocation is a physiological process used by underwater animals to harness the phenomenon of sound propagation in order to measure the pressure and therefore the distance between sound waves to locate themselves within their own surroundings. However, humans are having a negative effect on the southern resident killer whales who need a nice and quiet ocean to thrive. Humans have used sonar submarine and mine detection, underwater mapping, commercial fishing, diving safety, and communication at sea. In the 1970s, research biologist Ken Balcom found that the Navy's sonar was interfering with their use of echolocation to the extent that they were becoming agitated, so much that they would either avoid the sound pulse altogether or become confused enough to rise rapidly and breach the water, causing some of them to suffer decompression sickness and therefore die, washing up on the beaches for further study. Due to the use of conventional echo sounders, devices which are used by boats in order to detect ocean depths, otherwise known as sonar, the seas have become very noisy for the whales, making it difficult for them to effectively use their echolocation. This is very worrying for the killer whale species, as the southern resident killer whale population off the coast of British Columbia was recorded at just around 75 last year. The killer whales share their habitat with very high traffic ship routes, which go to and from the port of Vancouver. Increased boat traffic, water toxic waste, and low salmon populations are other factors harming these marine creatures' natural habitat in the waters off the coast of British Columbia. This is where Envisioning Labs has risen to the challenge and have found an alternative that is not as disruptive to aquatic life as conventional echo sounders and sonar, which does not disrupt their use of echolocation. This new alternative, codenamed Project Poseidon, uses a pulsed laser and photo detector in order to obtain depth information in large bodies of water. The sound waves of sonar spreads outwards in water, which is more likely to affect whales' echolocation, while the pulse that the laser emits will be a concentrated beam at a single point that will go through the surface and hit the ocean bed, reflecting and hitting a detector to determine the depth. The concentrated beam is quick and very unlikely to hit an aquatic creature. It also won't have an impact on the southern resident killer whale's echolocation due to it being light-based and not sound-based. Envisioning Labs' Project Poseidon is still in the stages of prototyping, testing, and improving the device, so it can increase the ranger to be able to measure deeper bodies of water. Currently, the latest Project Poseidon prototype has shown in testing that it can measure an average depth in coastal turbidites to around 8 meters with an error margin of less than 2%, where turbidity is the relative clarity of a liquid. When the laser is used on surfaces with higher turbidity, the maximum depth will diminish and the error margin will increase. This is something that with more testing can be improved to decrease the error margin. The hope is one day that Project Poseidon can become the industry standard for boats and other vessels across the world to reduce the impact echo sounders have had on the whales and other marine life, and the importance of keeping the ocean quiet for them so that they may thrive. <laughs>